because hockey has been my life and everything I have I owe to the game of hockey and I feel like it's my right to continue to give back. Uh, I've been lucky enough to wear a lot of hats in this great game uh, as a player, as a coach, as a broadcaster, as a dad. So for me, it's I feel like it's my opportunity to be able to give back to the game on a, on a daily basis. Uh, you know, we've become one of the elite hockey countries there are in the world, and you look at where the games come over the course of the last 30, 35 games, uh, 35 years, and uh, just I think the opportunity that these young players have to be able to uh, to excel and take their game to another level uh, is uh, is great to see. And, that's where it all starts. It starts at the grassroots level. It starts with USA Hockey and the more opportunities that young players have, both boys and girls, to play at the highest level. You know, we're doing, we're doing what we're supposed to do is give opportunity and then it's up to the young hockey players to, uh, to do with it what they can. When you hear a player say that, when you hear uh, James Van Riemsdyk say that he got excited because of, you know, those World Cup of Hockey right. games right. and that generation. Right. Uh, what does that mean to you when you Well, I mean, it, it means everything because everybody understands that you, you have to give thanks to the generation that's come before you. And uh, there's no doubt that I was able to follow in the footsteps of the 1980 team, which opened up a boatload of doors for all of us uh, in this great game. And, uh, and then we just kind of passed the torch. And now uh, it's good that young players know the past. I'm a big believer of, of respecting and knowing the past. And I think there's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more oomph when you understand exactly, uh, you know, knowing where you have been, where you are, and where you're trying to get to.